What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris saying that today's video was about a few swing trades and or options, depending on how you want to play it, that I want to put on your radar for today. But hey, guys, listen, if I helped y'all in any way, whether I was helping you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Without further ado, let's take a look at my portfolio. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure I speak for all of us when I say I am excited for tomorrow. Okay, we've had a three-day weekend, but that is coming to an end very shortly. And before we know it, it'll be 9.30 Eastern time at least, and we can get back in the market. More importantly, get back in our bag and do what we do. Listen, guys, I want to talk to you about our plays of the week for this week, give you a few updates and overviews of some other things as well, man. Listen, man, I hope all of you had a great 4th of July holiday, spent some time with some families, let off some fireworks or had some good food. But nevertheless, now it's time to get back to the money. Listen, guys, I want to first give an update on APXT. I done talked about this in previous videos. Again, the merger has finally went through. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new ticker symbol. Now, otherwise known as Point, ticker symbol A, VPT. It used to be APXT, guys. Now the merger has went through. Shout out to everybody that listened and followed out on the cause that we put out to make sure that you vote. Again, these things can't move through without the support of retail investors lending their vote. I will say this, man, as I look at this place sitting at $11.90, I saw that it gave it a new price target. Okay, so check this out, guys. With this play, okay. APXT, I'll be the first to tell you, move at a very, very slow pace, okay? I couldn't have predicted a much more slower stock than, than this play, okay? So, nothing has changed. Still a $20 price target on this particular play. Now, I'm very curious to see that with the merger being through, will this begin to move? The jury is still out. It remains to be seen. Nevertheless, I'm holding this play to $20. It will be in and out for me once it hit the price target that we set, okay? This has been a long-term hold, so it has, again, required patience for those that are investing in the right way. If you're looking to get rich quick, again, this is not the right channel for you, okay? Some of these plays will take longer than others. Some will move relatively quick. Some will take a long, drawn-out approach. APXT, otherwise known as Ab Point now has been one of those ones that it took a little bit more time, okay? Nevertheless, we get a chance to see what it does now that the merger has gone through. I'll keep you guys updated on this play throughout this journey, at least through our price target of $20, okay? As always, guys, given our daily update on AMC, check this out, it's currently sitting at 5294 Sold off a bit over the past couple days, Thursday and Friday, finished the week out with a little momentum to recover some of the downward pressure that it had received. Look guys, look for an opportunity in this around $50, $49, $47. If you get a pullback of sorts come tomorrow before riding this back up to higher levels, 53, 55, 57 ish, okay? Again, be in this play, make your money, do your thing. Around here, like with all our plays, we get 125 shares minimum. I don't care if you go more than that, but at least try to get that as a minimum and then make your money, guys. Let's have a good week in this play. Be smart, be strategic. Now on to our plays of the week. Okay, guys, I'm kicking this one off with Sophie Technologies, ticker symbol S-O-F-I. This is not only a swing trade candidate, but a options trade candidate, depending on how you choose to play it. The choice is yours. Use the tools that I teach you guys each and every day to win, no matter how you choose to play this one. I'm putting this one on your radar. It's at 18, 13 right now. Do me a favor. I'm giving you guys some technical due diligence. I'm doing the work for you, so you don't have to. If you can, try to get this around 17 to the $14 range, preferably on a pullback, okay? We never know how far it can pull back. We never know if it will pull back. I often say I like to buy on a dip or I like to buy lower, okay? So if it's sitting at 18, if anything, I'll nibble at this level. I'm not convinced about this play 
at 18. However, I like it at 17, I like it at 16, I like it at 15 and 14, knowing that it can come to this level and that makes a great swing trade. If you're gonna do these things, guys, please be strategic. I don't wanna hear anything about anything if you're not being strategic, using the tools to your advantage. What are some of the tools? Make sure you use your stop loss, okay? If you do buy this at 18 and you can't wait and you know that's your tendency, it's okay. Just put your stop loss on so that if this play drops to 14, you at least not getting crushed in it and you're out of it in a relatively quick manner, okay? Use the tools to your advantage if you're gonna jump into these swing trades and options. And of course, guys, choose a month out expiration date. It won't take that long for these plays to take off. However, give yourself some time, give yourself a buffer. Let's get to the money. Next up guys, we have CCIV, another swing trade and or options candidate, okay? Matter of fact, yep. I just wanted to make sure that this came through. Uh oh, okay, here we go, yep. And so another swing trader options candidate, CCIV, currently sitting at $27.15. Okay, it finished the week down two and a half percent. That's called weakness, okay? You want to buy on weakness. $24 to the $17 range is where I like this play even better. The 17 is what I'm talking about. Not sure it will get back to 17 without a pullback or correction anytime soon. However, 24 may be a realistic point to at least consider your swing trade, okay? And if you're doing an option, you guys always know, we buy our options on a dip if you're gonna do a call. This is how we crush the game and dominate the game consistently for those that apply the information the right way, okay? These plays are easy wins, otherwise known as easy money. I'm just switching up the name, calling them plays of the week. Those that have been around, you understand what's going on. Listen guys, have a phenomenal week this week kicking it off with these plays of the week. Matter of fact, let's review the rest of our plays of the week. Last week we had five and below. I know you guys been getting money in that one, but we also have Urban Outfitters. Salute to everybody who hit it out the park with this one that did an option, okay? Remember this one, Roku did phenomenal the week that we first presented this one. And last but not least, NVIDIA. We had this at around 727, 730. It's now at $800. Major salute for those eating off of all our easy money plays, AKA plays of the week. Keep up the good work, guys.